Welcome back to Excel Power Tips. Today we're going to talk about conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel and how to use that. Conditional formatting is really useful when you want to visually highlight certain cells based on the value in those cells um, so that you don't have to sort it or use some other means or use control F or find to find those cells. Um, for example, uh, getting right into it here with this example we've created a customer sales sheet and we've got the customer number we've got the sales amount and we've got the transaction date so created this data for this example and let's uh, say that we want to know uh, which customers had sales of over fifty dollars um, now one easy way to do that of course would be to just sort and I'm going to go do this quickly because this is not part of the of uh, conditional formatting. But we could just sort it, and we could basically just highlight all the ones that are, you know, up to fifty dollars if we wanted to. It's kind of the manual way to do it. And we could either you know make them red, or we could make them some other color like green background, etc. Okay, so that's that's a reasonable way to do it. Okay, that's there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the challenge though with what that manual method is that we've got to preserve that formatting um, we've got to remember to add it every time uh, we have a new sale that comes in and we want to add that so it becomes kind of high maintenance so I'm gonna go ahead and undo what I just did there by hitting control Z and uh, that undoes that and let's do it the conditional formatting way instead so let's say that we want to look for anybody who has a sale of more than fifty dollars so I'm just going to highlight this column right here, column B. All I did was click on that upper uh, section there and clicked on B and the whole thing highlighted. And as you can imagine, I go to the Home tab and click on Conditional Formatting. And then the first one is, now by the way, this might look a little different if you have an older version of Excel, uh, but it should look very similar to this. Um, and it should work pretty much exactly the same way so click on highlight cells rules and we're gonna we want the one that says greater than because we want to find <clears throat> find anything that has an order of more than fifty dollars so we've already selected the cell range so that's why this has been pre-selected here and um, we're going to go ahead and say fifty dollars so i'm gonna put fifty and then we can tell it different colors like look over on the left as I change this it changes the colors over there um, let's go ahead and make it be uh, let's have it be green so anything over fifty dollars now is gonna be green I'm gonna hit OK and as you can see now um, that happened automatically so everything over fifty dollars is now green okay now if you were to sort this it keeps that formatting which which is really convenient um, as you as you can scroll down here we can see that here's here's where the line was drawn now let's say we we decided we, we added a new uh, customer transaction and I'm just gonna make up some data for this transaction let's call it tra customer number 500 let's say it was a sixty two dollar sale and let's say it happened let's say we forgot to record it and it happened in the past it happened on June 1st 2005 notice how that sixty two dollars was automatically highlighted so that's a really handy feature and conditional formatting is a really good idea if you are having to sort through a lot of data and need to be able to figure out exactly which uh, which data points um, are significant to you and again that could be a revenue number could be a date uh, it could be really any kind of value that you want to add uh, you can also do it with text so if you had a column that had let's just do that real quick here before we uh, finish this lesson let's say that you had um, a paid with cash uh, marker and let's just say some were yes and some were no now look look at how it went ahead and highlighted these we want to first clear the formatting because when we copied that over and inserted a column it, it sort of copied the formatting so let's go ahead and just clear uh, rules from selected cells so that was just a way of getting rid of that formatting and we're just gonna randomly put some as yes and some as no just as an example here for this data so you can see that I copied all the way down 
Um, and let's just say we want the ones that paid in cash to show up as red. So I'm going to go back to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules. This one I want to, this time I want to say equal to, and I'm going to say uh, yes. I want them to be in red. Um, now if they didn't pay in cash, you can see that it's in, uh, it's it, the, the, all the no's here uh, just show up as, as no highlighting at all. Uh, and by the way, you can you may uh, apply different rules to the same range of cells. So let, just to highlight how that looks, let's go ahead and sort this by customer number. And you can see that all the ones that paid in cash, yes. Uh, all the ones that are highlighted over $50, yes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear this formatting too. I don't like that it highlighted sales here. So I'm going to go back. To, I'm just going to clear this rule. Notice how I just highlighted cell B1 and I'm going to conditional formatting and then clear rules, clear from selected cells and notice how that went away. Okay, that's it and uh, that's a handy way to manage your data and review your data visually on a regular basis. Good luck!